Hey everybody! Well, I hesitated to make this video because um, this LEGO set right here is about two years old now, so it's been out for a while, and I know that there's probably a million different reviews of this set on YouTube right now, but the main reason I wanted to do it is because um, I'm pretty sure this set is retiring this year. So this is September of 2021, and um, this is one of those sets where I keep seeing it, and I keep wanting it, and then I never get around to it. And now that I've heard it's retiring, I thought, well, I better get it because you know how these things are. Once these things are gone, they're gone. And then instead of $100 for this set, you're going to be paying $130, $150 or even higher. Now, uh, this set here came out two years ago, like I mentioned. And then last year they had the Elf Clubhouse, which was an awesome set. I absolutely loved it. I did a review on that. You can check out that video if you'd like. But everybody was saying that they thought this one was better. But I kind of still think that the Elf Clubhouse is better. I guess we'll see once I get this built. And I would say that, arguably, this is probably everybody's favorite Winter Village set. So this is from their Winter Village collection. And they always have the coolest sets for the holidays. And this year, they've already uh, revealed Santa's Visit. And that's another cool set. Although, looking at that, I think this set is better. And I think the Elf Clubhouse is actually better. But, you know, I don't know. I guess I'll have to wait and see if there's reviews on it. So anyway, let's take a look at the back of the box. Now, one of the many things that I absolutely love about these sets is that they make the interiors of the house look so cool. And they always make it so cozy. You almost want to shrink yourself down and actually live there because that's how cool it is. So you can see there's actually a bedroom right here. They actually have the bed and a little nightstand. There's also uh, the little bassinet for the baby gingerbread, which is really cute. Uh, we have an actual bathtub and a toilet, so it's an actual bathroom there, which is pretty cool. Looks like we got a living room area right here. It looks nice and cozy. There's a fireplace that when you push down on the smoke of the fireplace, it actually lights up because there is a, a light brick in this set. There's other various uh, close-ups of the different rooms. And it looks like the family is having a good old time here. It's really cool. I love these minifigures. I think they're exclusive to this set. They're actual gingerbread people. And I love that their heads look like Oreo cookies. I mean, <laughs> it's really really an ingenious set. Lego always outdoes themselves with these sets. All right, well, let's open it up and see how many bags are in this set. So there are 10 bags total, and they're numbered up to five. You can see them all here. So yeah, it looks like it'll be a pretty fun build. I forgot to mention it also comes with this big 16 by 16 plate piece. There's two instruction books here. One's a really small one. This one here um, is just for building the minifigures and also the little, the little gifts and the little uh, sawhorse, uh, swinging horse thing, the trains, the snowblower, things like that. And then this number two bag is the main bag here, and that's for building all the, the house itself. So yeah, these, um, these kinds of sets are so fun to build because the interiors are really fun to build when you're building all that furniture and the tiled floors and stuff like that. So yeah, this should be a pretty fun set to build. Thankfully, there's not a lot of stickers in this set. We just have the portrait of the family, which is really cute. A home sweet home and a candy lane sign. So yeah, at least the stickers are minimal. All right, so I got everything all built now. So let's start with these minifigures. Oh man, I love these things. These are so cool. So, uh, yeah, the printing on them is absolutely fantastic. I love the little skirt on the, uh, the girl, and I've seen those before on the Minnie Mouse figure. I think that's, uh, well, I don't know if this is the first time that that skirt piece is, has been used on a set, but you can see the printing is fantastic. I love the little sandwich cookie heads that they have. I guess those are dual molded, but you got chocolate for the, the father, and I guess it's like strawberry or pink <laughs> for the... Uh, for the mother, you can see the back, they got the little frosting kind of looking things going on. Now, my only thing that I, I do wish they would have done is you can see the baby here is just a tile. I really wish they would have made a little tiny baby gingerbread figure. That would have been really cool. I mean, I don't know. The tile just doesn't really look that good to me. But I don't know. Other than that, you know, I mean, it's, it's okay. I also love the little baby bottle, which is really cool. So yeah, really fantastic figures. So typical of these holiday sets, they come with a ton of these fun little side builds that you can build on here. So we have a bunch of little packages and presents that you can see here. This one here looks like it's a box of chocolates right there. 
and then uh, looks like a little chest. I really love this train. It's amazing how they can take some simple basic stuff and turn it into a really cool looking thing. It even has a coal car behind it. That's the bottom. We also have a little, looks like a little tanker truck, I'm guessing is what this is. Has a little cab, the window, even uses uh, roller skate pieces for the wheels, which is really neat. Um, the, neither of these roll. This is really cool. You got the little rocking horse that actually does rock. It's pretty cool. And you can actually put the little baby on there. He can, you can put the baby on that little stud. And then we also, this is another really cool piece. This is the snow blower. And you can see that you can actually roll this. The wheels actually do turn. And these little things in here will actually turn as well, the little blades. And I love the snow blowing out of there using that smoke piece, which is really, really clever. And then, of course, we got a Christmas tree with all of this. This one's got these really cool pieces. I've never seen these before, but you have four of them to make up the star on here. And um, I don't know, I've never seen those pieces before. These trees are really cool. You build a center post and then it's sideways construction for the rest of this. These little panels all fit on there. It's a really fun way to make those. I think this is the coolest one. This is the little baby carriage. I wish the wheels rolled. Uh, they can turn if you push them hard enough, but I love the cookie hubcap type of things on there. And uh, the way they built it is really cool. You can see on the bottom. And yes, the baby does fit in there. Let me get him off of there. You can actually put him down inside the little carriage, just like that. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Yeah, I love all these little builds. And here is the gingerbread house all complete. And oh my gosh, this thing was so fun to build. Anytime you build stuff like this, it, it's just really, really fun. I mean, it's just fun building all the details. It had some interesting building techniques in the way these roof pieces go together. And I'll show you some close-ups of that. I love the candy canes going on on the side here, the uh, striping on the door. I love the little lamps on the front porch. You can see all this detail going on here. I mean, it does look like it's made of gingerbread and frosting and anything else. I also love all the different texturing going on on this uh, chimney. I like the outdoor fireplace, which doubles as the indoor one as well. And there's even a little uh, wood pile right there. So let's get some close-ups of this. Oh, here, I'll just swim. I just want to swing it around real quick so you can kind of see the back of it as well. So yeah, we'll get some nice close-ups on all of the details on here so you can check out all the cool stuff. Starting with the front eating area here, you can see a little bit of snow kind of hanging onto the edges right there. Look at those windows, they are so cool. They actually have glitter molded into the plastic parts right in there. And if you put light from behind it, it they light up really neat. I love the little uh, muffin detail underneath those. And also the striping. You can see all the striping on the house, just like a real gingerbread house. And then that's that texturing I was talking about on the the chimney, the way they did the bricks and the kind of multicolored look and the random dark areas on there looks really excellent. There's that little wood pile on the side and those are prints for the uh, ends of the logs. Here is the front door and those lamps. Now I did do one modification on the door here. Um, originally there is no doorknob on the doors and I, I didn't like that. I like when they put a doorknob on it. And the reason they did it is because they actually had the door flipped around the other way and so the door uh, frame is, it, it, the door actually goes further in. And because of that, you can't put a piece on here. So all I did is flip it around so that instead of the door opening um, uh, inward, it opens out. And then this way, if I can get a hold of this thing here, there we go. So it does open out and that's fine with me. I don't care if it opens in or out, but see what it looks like without any kind of detail on there. It just didn't look good. And so uh, because it, it would be too close to the edge of the door frame, if it was the other way around the way they have it, you wouldn't be able to put this piece on here. And since they give you extra pieces of candy or uh, cookies, I, I went ahead and used it. It's on this side too, because there's a side door as well. I mean, you may as well. I love the wreath on the top of the door right there. This one's got it as well. The roofing is really cool. I, I love the way you build those and the way they snap in. This thing is really cool. Now, you have this kind of, the way it, it's finished looking right here, it, you actually um, have the two halves come together and then you push a, a big uh, connector piece 
like a big connector bar through there that holds everything together nice and strong, but it also gives it a finished look as well. So I thought that was really clever the way they did that. Over here we got these candy canes and you got the candy lane uh, um, sticker right there. And here's the side detail as well. I mean, this looks just like a real candy uh, gingerbread house. It's pretty cool. I love the snow coming off the edges right there. Oh man, this is just awesome. There's a home sweet home welcome mat. <laughs> yep, very, very cool. All right, let's look at the interior. My absolute favorite part about these kinds of sets is building the interiors. And you can see here they spared no expense, I guess, <laughs> in the way this is done. On the upstairs here, you can see the bedroom. And I love how it's made of kind of like the white chocolate bars, which is really cool. It was fun to build that. This um, nightstand is really neat. It's like a cotton candy lamp. I mean, how clever is that to use that? You can see those windows back there. There's the little bassinet. You can put the baby in there and he does fit, which is really cute. And then we got this little post in the middle, which does help hold up this middle section of the roof, which is actually pretty clever because it doubles as the towel rack. And you can see here that we have Christmas colored towels. There's the bathtub and the bathtub, if I can get in there, actually has the chocolate bar pieces. It uses the ingots, but it looks like chocolate bars in there, <laughs> which is really clever. And they even have a toilet and there's a little rug or carpet that goes around the outside of it. Down here, this is where the little living room section is. I love that little drawer, like chest of drawers right there, a little coffee mug. There's a little cookie sitting there. Uh, this chair was really fun to build I'm using more of the chocolate bars in there and you can actually take this out because it's only on there by uh, one stud right there. Oh, well, the leg just came off, but uh, <laughs> that way you can kind of see the fireplace better. I love the, the uh, stockings that are hung under the mantle. There is the family portrait, which is really cool and the little candles. I mean, the details are just so cool on this. Now, this kitchen area is really neat. You got a sink. There's a little coffee mug, some more drawers right there. That is a stove. Let's see if I can get enough light back there. You can actually see the stove and the burners. There is a frying pan as well. And there's even a vent. Like you can see the vent above the stove, which is really neat. And I'm assuming the clear door is the oven and uh, that will open. You can actually open that like that. So it's really cool. And then there's just a little foyer or the hallway. I love the tile work that they did on there and they do provide a stud so you can have one of the figures sitting there. Just kind of the little hall right going on inside there. It's really, really cool. The detail's fantastic on this. One of the fun things that they usually provide in these Winter Village sets is they usually have a light brick somewhere in the set. So in this case, the little chimney right here is the button, so the smoke, and that's what makes the little fireplace light up. And you can't really see it. Let me see if I can do it in the dark. So here with the lights out, when you push the button, there you can see the fireplace it has that really nice orange glow and it looks really good in there. I really like it. It works on the outside too. Here's the outside and when we push down on it, there you can see the fireplace. That looks really neat and it looks cozy. It'd be kind of cool if it flickered, but hey, I'm not going to complain. So there you have it, the gingerbread house from 2019. And God, this is just another amazing set. I think it's absolutely fantastic. You know, when I compare it to the Elf Clubhouse set, um, I'm kind of split on it. I still kind of think I like the Elf Clubhouse better, only because I like the gimmicks. I'm a, I'm a sucker for gimmicks. With the Elf Clubhouse, you had the, uh, the bunk beds for the elves that you can actually uh, make the beds rattle so the elves fall out. And I think the biggest draw for that set was the waffle maker, the little waffle dropper, which was really, really cool. This one here doesn't really have any gimmicks per se, but it does have the light brick for the fireplace. And I do love just the way the overall look of this kit is, and I think it looks amazing. But uh, one thing I kind of wish maybe they would kind of maybe do differently is, I, I while I enjoy all these cool little uh, gifts and little side builds that they do provide. I kind of wish they would maybe focus the cost of this into the rest of the set. Maybe uh, extend a room a little bit longer or add something else to the interior. Because these things here, as nice as they are, the, you have to keep track of them, you know, when you are storing this or when you're displaying it and you got all this extra stuff kind of 
outside. I'd rather just, I'd rather they focus more on the actual house and, uh, and the interior, you know, all of this stuff is just kind of a bunch of stuff that you have to keep track of. And so, and the other thing, um, I wish that they would do is make it easier to get to the light brick. A lot of these sets, when they use a light brick, when it comes time to change the battery in that, because sooner or later you're going to have to, um, by the time that the battery goes out, you don't remember how you put this whole thing together. And so you're going to have to try to, you know, break it apart to find out where the light brick is. In this case, the light brick is somewhere in here. So you're going to have to take apart this entire uh, chimney because there's a long uh, piece that goes down here to push the button on it. And so now you're gonna have to destroy the entire uh, chimney <laughs> to kind of get back in there. And then you gotta try to remember how to put it back together. So that's always been kind of a problem with having a light brick in these sets. So yeah, just a couple of things that I wish they would kind of change. But um, yeah, maybe less of these for sure. But overall, this set looks amazing. I mean, I just love the way this looks. It was so fun to build. The interiors are fun. It's a great set. So this is uh, on sale now. It's still available as of the making of this video for uh, $100. It is retiring at the end of this year, 2021. So if you've been on the fence about getting it like, like I have, you might want to go ahead and jump on it um, because once they're gone, they're going to start shooting up in price because these Winter Village sets tend to be pretty popular amongst people. And with this being pretty much the favorite amongst everybody, this one's surely going to go uh, up in price. I mean, you're, as soon as it retires, it's probably going to start commanding a, at least a $150 price. And then as the years goes on, it's just going to get more and more expensive. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, please give the video a like and also subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.